Ever wondered how your body manages to maintain your blood sugar levels? What happens when it doesn't? That's where anti-hyperglycemic drugs come into play. Hyperglycemia, in simple terms, is an excess of glucose in the bloodstream. It's often associated with diabetes, but it can also occur due to other medical conditions or certain lifestyle choices. The risks? Well, over time, high blood sugar levels can damage your blood vessels and nerves, leading to heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, vision problems, and even nerve damage in the feet. Antihyperglycemic drugs, as their name suggests, help control and reduce high blood sugar levels. They work in a variety of ways from increasing insulin production, improving insulin sensitivity, to slowing down the absorption of sugars in your gut. These are life-saving, vital medications for millions of people worldwide. Now that we've covered the basics, let's delve deeper into the world of oral antihyperglycemic drugs. When it comes to managing blood sugar levels, metformin is often the first line of defense. This medication has been a mainstay in diabetes treatment for decades, and for good reason. So, what makes metformin so effective? Well, it's all down to its unique mechanism of action. Unlike some other anti-diabetic drugs, metformin does not increase the amount of insulin in the body. Instead, it reduces the amount of glucose produced by the liver and increases the sensitivity of muscle cells to insulin. This double action helps to regulate blood sugar levels effectively, without causing the dangerous lows associated with some other treatments, but that's not all. Metformin also has several other benefits. It's weight neutral, meaning it doesn't cause weight gain, a common side effect of many other diabetes medications. It's also been shown to have cardiovascular benefits and some studies suggest it may even help to prevent certain types of cancer. Of course, like any medication, metformin is not without its potential side effects. The most common of these include gastrointestinal issues such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. However, these side effects are usually temporary and can often be minimized by taking the medication with food. More serious side effects are rare, but can include a condition called lactic acidosis. This is a potentially life-threatening condition that can occur if too much lactic acid builds up in the blood. However, this is extremely rare, particularly in people who have normal kidney function. Despite these potential side effects, metformin remains a popular choice for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It's often used as the first medication given to newly diagnosed patients thanks to its effectiveness, its safety profile, and its affordability. Metformin, while effective, is just one piece of the puzzle. Let's move on to our next drug, tolbutamide. Tolbutamide, a name you might not hear as often as metformin, but it's been around for a long time in the diabetes management scene. Let's delve into the world of tolbutamide, a classic choice in the management of type 2 diabetes. It's part of a group of medications known as sulfonylureas, which have been used in diabetes management for over 60 years. That's right folks, tolbutamide has been a trusted ally in the fight against diabetes for over half a century. So, how does it work? Well, tolbutamide acts on the pancreas, that little organ situated behind your stomach. It encourages the pancreas to secrete more insulin, a hormone that helps your body process sugar. This increase in insulin helps to lower blood sugar levels, bringing them back to a more normal range. But what makes tolbutamide a classic choice? It's all about its benefits and longevity. For starters, it's easy to use and can be taken orally making it a convenient option for many. Additionally, it has a rapid onset and short duration of action, making it ideal for controlling blood sugar levels after meals. However, as with any medication, tolbutamide is not without its potential side effects. Some individuals may experience hypoglycemia or low blood sugar as well as weight gain. It's also important to note that tolbutamide should be used with caution in individuals with certain kidney or liver conditions. Always consult your healthcare provider to discuss any potential risks or concerns. Despite these potential side effects, tolbutamide has proven its worth over the decades. Its ability to effectively lower blood sugar levels has made it a go-to choice for many individuals managing their type 2 diabetes. Tolbutamide, a trusted choice for many, has been helping people manage their blood sugar levels for decades. But how do these drugs compare? Metformin and tolbutamide two powerful players in the fight against hyperglycemia, but how do they stack up against each other? Well, let's dive into their unique characteristics to find out. Metformin, known as a big one-eyed, works by decreasing glucose production in the liver and increasing the body's sensitivity to insulin. This dual action helps control blood sugar levels without causing hypoglycemia, a low blood sugar condition. On the other hand, we have tolbutamide, a part of the sulfonylurea class. It functions by stimulating the release of insulin from the pancreas. 
This means it's particularly effective when the body still has some residual insulin producing capacity. However, it does carry a risk of hypoglycemia especially in older adults or those with kidney or liver disease. Side effects as with any medication are a crucial point of comparison. Metformin is generally well tolerated with gastrointestinal issues such as nausea and diarrhea being the most common side effects. Rarely it can cause a serious condition called lactic acidosis, especially in people with certain risk factors. Tolbutamide, while effective, can cause hypoglycemia, as mentioned before, and weight gain. It can also result in skin reactions and in rare cases, blood disorders. When it comes to typical use cases, Metformin is often the first line of defense in type 2 diabetes treatment due to its efficacy, safety profile, and benefit in preventing cardiovascular events. Tolbutamide, while older and less commonly used today, still holds value in specific cases where patients cannot tolerate metformin or have contraindications to its use. So while metformin and tolbutamide may both be warriors in the battle against high blood sugar, they each have their unique strengths and considerations. Understanding the differences between these two drugs can help healthcare professionals make the best decisions for their patients. So we've taken a deep dive into the world of oral anti-hyperglycemic drugs, specifically focusing on metformin and tolbutamide. Let's take a moment to reel in all that information and recap. We started off by introducing anti-hyperglycemic drugs, a class of medication that plays a vital role in managing blood sugar levels in the body. These drugs, when used appropriately, can help mitigate the effects of conditions such as type 2 diabetes. We then turned our attention to metformin, the most commonly prescribed drug in this category. Metformin works by decreasing the liver's production of glucose and increasing the muscle's sensitivity to insulin. This dual action helps to effectively control blood sugar levels. However, like all medication, metformin is not without its side effects. These may include digestive problems like nausea or diarrhea, which usually subside as your body adjusts to the medication. Next on our journey we explored tolbutamide, a classic choice in the world of anti-hyperglycemic drugs. Tolbutamide belongs to the sulfonylurea class of medication. Its primary function is to stimulate the pancreas to produce more insulin thereby reducing blood sugar levels. But again it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Tolbutamide can sometimes cause low blood sugar or hypoglycemia and it's important to monitor your blood sugar levels while on this medication. Finally, we compared metformin and tolbutamide. While both have their unique mechanisms and benefits, the choice between the two often depends on the individual's specific medical condition, tolerance to the medication, and their doctor's recommendation. In conclusion, metformin and tolbutamide, two potent oral anti-hyperglycemic drugs, have their distinct roles in managing hyperglycemia. Understanding these drugs, their mechanisms, and side effects is essential in making informed decisions about your health or the health of your patients. With a better understanding of these drugs, you'll be well on your way to managing or preventing hyperglycemia. Remember, knowledge is power. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later.